ISUPK presents the Lord's 51st annual Passover. This is crazy, yo. We in the arena. Okay, I can't explain to you the level that is. This place is going to be packed with the children of the Lord shouting in one word and one name to them all. On Thursday, April 9th, 2020, at sundown, we're going to be holding the Lord's 51st annual Passover. I ain't a people pleaser. I don't like people either. I don't care if you're not the jigger and want to meet you. Just give me my mother. We're going to be located at the Westchester County Center, 198 Central Air, right flank, New York, 10606. $100 for all the dark 17 and over. Kids are for free. Start All sending in your funds today. For booking information, check us out on the ISUPK 51st Annual Pass Mobile Facebook page. More updates will be available Last but not least, Israel, Commandant General Yohanna will be accepting the men willing to stand for the Hebrew Academy 2021. The Lord's 51st Annual Passover. We are the ISUPK, out of 125th Street, Harlem, New York. Under Commanding General Yohanna, we are not affiliated with any organization, group, or fake Hebrew Israelite group on planet Earth. Of course, today's topic, we're going to deal with the out of order black, Hispanic, and native Indian woman versus the woman of the Bible. Right. Because one of the critical things today in society is our women are out of order. They are not functioning according to the Bible, but are functioning according to the white man, according to the Willie Lynch letter, the programming that was put into them in slavery. So today, we're going to teach our sisters how to function with their husbands, how to function with their children. The scripture, look at Jeremiah 6 and 16. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 6 and verse 16. Thus said the Lord, Stand ye in the way, and see, and ask for the old path. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your soul. Okay, as the readers say, we need to seek the old paths. Look at our foremothers in the Bible, how they used to function, how they used to support their husbands, how they used to support their children, and follow the old paths that is in the Word of God. If you follow the society, this society only breeds lesbians. This society only breeds bisexuals. This society breeds women who feel they don't need a man and I can do my own thing. But let's hear what the word of God has to say. But they said, we will not walk therein. This is what the women and them today are saying. We're not going to walk therein. You understand? We don't want to hear that the man is the head of the home. You understand? We could do our own thing. I'm making more money. I could do what I want to do. I don't want to listen to the word of God. I don't want to listen to my husband. You understand? When every other race upon the face of the earth, the Chinese woman listens to the Chinese man. The white woman listens to the white man. And all the other nations and them women listen to their man. But the black woman, I don't need to listen to a man. I can do my own thing. Now we hear what the word of God has to say. So let us hear what the old parts say. How our four mothers used to walk. How they used to support their husbands, their children. Because in this walk here, 
We need our women in order. The men coming out here and doing it, but we need our women in order to pull this nation back together. The book of Isaiah, chapter 3 and verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. Children, today in this society is our oppressors, and women is the one that ruling over them. All these single parent homes are these women. These women that I don't need a man. I picking up my children and I go in and live by myself. You created monsters in society, monsters in the black communities, monsters in the jailhouse, monsters in Simeon Road, monsters in Dego Martin. Tell old people, can gas, the gas truck can even come in in the area no more because it's a set of young monsters that live in with a set of single parent mothers. No, they don't need the fathers. The father is the foundation of the home. Underneath the father is Christ. Christ has passed on the instruction to the native black man, the black man, the native man, and the Hispanic man. That's right. To rule the home. We need to come back to following this book, the old paths. The book of Isaiah, chapter 3 and verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. Children are we oppressors today. All these single parent homes that pushing all these children in Nelson Street. All these children on them in Nelson Street who run in the town with big automatic and you're afraid to walk Charlotte Street and buy a ghost trees because the home out of order. You right, run right. the black man out of the home to do your own thing. And when your son growing up to a certain age, you cannot control him. Because you run out the man. We is the only people that has lived like this. The Chinese woman know the pattern she creates and obey her man. So we need to understand. God set an order. God, Christ, the native man, the Hispanic man, the Negro man, the woman, the children. Anytime you interrupt that order and you want to do your own thing, you understand? Everything just fall apart. The white woman and them just push this feminism thing. But they obeying their man and they're telling you to disrespect your man. That's right. So it's time to get the black woman back into order. The book of Lamentations, chapter 4 and verse 3. Even the sea monsters draw out the breast. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people has become cruel, like the ostriches in the wilderness. Daughters of who? The daughter of my people has become cruel. Well, the daughters of my people have become cruel, like the ostriches in the wilderness. Even the sea monsters know that they need to give care to the young ones. The black woman running the black man out of the house. Because she wants to sit down and smoke weed. She wants to run all kind of different men like a harlot. She don't want to listen to her power, which is the black man that is under Christ. Now the Lord say, the daughters of my people have become cruel like the ostrich in the wilderness. Now we're going to see how the ostrich in the wilderness does function. Because he is making a comparison with the ostrich in the wilderness and the black woman today. We're going to understand how the black woman today functions. The book of Job, chapter 39 and verse 13. Give us thou the goodly wings unto the peacocks, or wings that are feathers unto the ostrich, which leave the eggs in the earth, and woman them in the dust, and forget it that the foot may crush them, or that the wild beasts may break them. That is what's going on today in society. Woman feeling, I could be a woman and a man, and you're not raising your children properly. 
That is why children today are oppressing we. That is why you can't walk Charlotte Street properly. You want any of another gunman go run up from Nelson Street and spray down the place. You understand? Because you cannot do the job of a man. You cannot do the job of a man, of a righteous man that in the ISCPK that following these laws, statutes and commandments. That's right, that's right. The men need to come into the ISUPK, learn to rule your houses and take back, take back leadership of your homes from the, from the loud mouth blasted black woman. She That's needs to know the order in this Bible here. We have an order and she needs to learn to follow her husband. It's time that women stand up because society keeps going lower and lower. Society make any black man effeminate. Society pushing right in the Christian church across there is okay. That's right. As a black man to be a homosexual and go there. Long as you're giving them the money, they're not asking you nothing. You understand? So we need to rise up from that. Let us continue to hear how the structure is supposed to continue. The book of Job chapter 39 and verse 15. And forget that the foot may crush them, or that the wild beast may break them. She is hardened against her young ones, as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear, because God had deprived her of wisdom. Neither had he imparted to her understanding. God had deprived the so-called black woman of wisdom. Neither had he imparted in her understanding. And when I'm talking about that, I'm not talking about a woman can work and make money and see about your family. But God has a structure. God, Christ, the black man, Christ communicates with the black, Hispanic, and native Indian man, and he hands down instructions to the woman. But when you don't want to follow that order, you don't have that spiritual knowledge to lead children. That is why children are we oppressors That's today. Right. That is why they can run up and down and should be spraying down the place. And you women cannot control them. They're out of control. That's when they right. get out of control and they turn monsters, you are all running from them. Right. Now we're going to see the structure that the Lord set up. The structure that's supposed to be in the family home. We're going into the New Testament and see the structure that we're supposed to be following so that families could stay together. Black people today are famous for broken homes. Famous. As soon as a woman make a child with you, she feel she could do her own damn thing and she just leave. You understand? I'm making my money. He can't tell me what to do. So we're going to see the structure that the most I set up. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. But I would have you to know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is Christ. And when we say man, we're talking about the blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. Go ahead. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the black woman is the black man. You are not your own head. This is not words that I make up. These are words that have been here for thousands and thousands of years, which the Most High gave the holy men to write in this book as to how you're supposed to live. When you feel because you're making money, I don't need a black man, and you're going against what God say, everything is going to go out of order. It's like a car. I can't need a wheel to move. If you decide it needs bricks to move and you put bricks underneath it, it is not going to function how it's supposed to function. The Most High made this order for us to live, and if you go against it, it will not function as it's supposed to function. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. So even Christ has somebody that he, that is his head. Just like the black man is the black woman's head, so this is something you have to understand. It's an order. Anytime you change the order, the dynamics, that is what we get today in society. All these youths are running crazy and rampant. 
ask most of them they never grow up with a father in your home to guide them into the right way mother trying to be mother and father but when she working all the time and coming home late he ending up on the block he ending up in rasta city and he ending up in muslim and they ending up running wild all over the place that people can't even walk about comfortable you are not affiliated again with any organization or Hebrew Israelite group. We are the ISUPK, the only authority that Christ set up in this time under commanding General Yohanna, right. which is like Moses back then. Commanding General Yohanna is the man that Christ set up in this time to teach the people to come back to the law, statutes and commandments of the Mosai. That's right. To teach the black woman to listen to her black man. That's right. And follow this book. Come to the school, get the proper interpretation and guide your family through this wicked time that we live in. That's right. Book of Titus, chapter 2 and verse 10. Not following, but showing all good fidelity that they may adorn the doctrine of God and our Savior in all things. The book of Titus chapter 2 and verse 3. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness, not false accusers, not given too much wine, teachers of good things, Right now here, yeah, it's giving instruction to the age woman so that we understand the function and the role in this book. Anytime you don't follow the structure of this book and you choose to do your own thing, you're going to create a society like now. Last year we had 500 and something murders. How much it going to be this year? If you have children that are growing up today in today's society and the four years old, when they reach 18, what's going to be the murder rate? Are you going to be able to walk around like how we're walking around here today? Or you got to be locked up inside of your house because your children running like monsters in the streets? Continue. The book of Titus chapter 2 and verse 3. The eighth woman, likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness not false accusers, not given too much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands. To love your husbands, not leave your husbands. Love your husbands. Go ahead. To love their children, to be discreet, chaste, to keep be, us at home. To be discreet. Not when you have an argument with the man, you stand up in front of the door and you open your loud goddamn mouth and feel that like your whole village must know your business. You and your husband business is you and your husband business. Not the whole village. Learn to be discreet. The scriptures will tell a woman how to function. But when you want to function on your own understanding and lean on your own understanding, it's madness here to create. Mad children that running up and down in the street with automatic. For Gary Griffith and them to wait to lick them down. To be discreet, chase, keep us at home, good, obedient to their own husbands. Read that again. Obedient to their own husbands. Obedient to your own husband, not rebellious to your own husband. And everything, if he say A, you say B. If he say C, you say D. Yes, book that the most high left for us black woman hispanic woman and native indian woman you ought to be obedient unto your own husband that the word of god be not blasphemed that this word of god be not blasphemed it's a sad thing when young men are to come out here and tell you this but we have to do it because this is the time that we're living in the Christian church not doing it. The Christian church telling you, I making my own money, I could do my own thing. I could be out of order. But this book says, you have to follow your man. 
Obey your husband as unto the Lord. The book of Titus, chapter 2 and verse 5. To be discreet, church, keep us at home, good, obedient to their own husband. Obedient to your own husband. That the word of God be not blasphemed. That the word of God be not blasphemed. The book of First Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 11. Let the woman learn in silence. Let the woman learn how? Learn in silence. Go ahead. With all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor usurp authority over the man. No. What are you saying? The woman to teach little children in school. Do you see this book on the side? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians come into the school, into the ISUPK, and learn how to see about your families. You understand? We're supposed to be teaching our woman. She's not supposed to be a serpent authority over you, or in them Pentecostal churches, That's right. or in them Christian churches, teaching you how the hell she can teach you. The structure is the Lord, Christ and the man. So you cannot teach me. I have to teach you. And because the society out of order, that is why there's so much of murders. That's right. So much of we youth and them in the prisons, pulling up the prison houses. Because we're not following this book. For Adam was first formed. Adam was first formed. Go ahead. Then Eve. Then Eve. And Adam was not deceived. But the woman being deceived was in transgression. The woman being deceived was in transgression. That is why they cannot teach. Women are easily manipulated if they do not have a man over them, a righteous man over them. That's right. Easily manipulated. You can tell them, I love you, and get into the jaws. You can drive a nice ride. Like one of these signals and them say, big ride, big ride. And the brain gone. So you cannot teach me. I as a man at your home to teach you once we follow in this Bible. That's right. Once we live in this life, this righteous life, underneath commanding General Yahana and the ISPK. That's right. Then you can leave your home properly. That's right. ISUPK presents the Lord's 51st annual Passover. This is crazy, y'all. We in the arena. Okay, I can't explain to you the level that is. This place is going to be packed with the children of the Lord shouting in one word and one name to them all. On Thursday, April 9th, 2020, at sundown, we're going to be holding the Lord's 51st annual Passover. I ain't a people pleaser, I don't like people either I don't care if you're not the jigger, ain't wanna meet you Just give me my mother. We're gonna be located at the Westchester County Center 198 Central Air, right plane to your 10606 A hundred dollars for all the dark 17 and over Kids are for free Start sending in your funds today but do they trust for the booking information, check us out on the ISUP page, 51st Annual Pass Mobile Facebook page. More updates will be available. Last but not least, Israel, Commandant General Yohanna will be accepting the men willing to stand for the Hebrew Academy 2021. The Lord's 51st Annual Pass Mobile.